Good morning, everybody. Hi, welcome. This is Eileen and you are watching Jane Nicole Designs. I am so, so excited that you are here today. Ah, today, we're gonna be doing the third week of Christmas in July. So um, today, this is about as Christmassy outfit as I'm gonna get because it is super hot outside. I'm coming to you from Idaho and we have a little heat wave. Well, it's not really a huge heat wave. For me, it is. Um, it'll, I think it's gonna get like 90 today. So, but I'm one of those where I'm a 75, 70s girl. And so today being, you know, getting up there, I'm, I, oh, good morning, Dusty. <laughs> um, with today's weather, I thought, you know what, I'll go Christmassy, but um, being this Christmassy, it's, it's a tank top today. So um, anyways, welcome, welcome this morning. We are gonna do um, some, some inspired projects from visiting my sister. I went a few, uh, about a month ago, I went to my old, my sister Renee's, and we went um, and did some, uh, just, you know, kind of crafty shopping and different things. Good morning, Renee, I'm talking about you. Um, we went to her house and we went to Hobby Lobby and we were just kind of hanging out and just looking at different crafts and things like that. We got back to her house and she was like, here, I don't use this stuff. So I'm here, you can have some things. And I'm like, well, okay, um, I, I will take wh whatever. Um, but I wanted to leave a little bit so that she could keep going. So um, I only took a few things. But um, so when Renee gave me these, these are the coolest. Um, she said she used them for rock painting. I'm like, okay, I want to see what I can do with some rocks. So um, Renee, this is kind of for you in mind. Uh, I'm going to do some Christmas, not too elaborate because sometimes... Um, I'm not very good at uh, being really still and, and um, you know, I, I'm kind of shaky. So I, I thought I'd do stuff that, you know, I didn't, oh, kitty, it's, do you see this? Uh, my animals, I come on live and they all decide to, um, to invade my space. So if you hear clinking and, and things like that, that's my dog and my cat. So Dusty and Oakland are just, they're a pair. Um, anyway. So, um, when I was looking at some of the projects, um, I started making some of them. I looked on Pinterest and things like that, and I was like, whoo, this is a little bit more. I am crafty, but artistry is not my forte. So, um, I will do things that are a little bit more elementary as far as that goes. Um, and because my hands are shaky, I'm like, all right, you know what? Um, if I need to be really intricate and things like that, I'll use the rub-ons. So. Um, I wanted to show you just a little sneak peek of what we're going to be doing today, and then we'll get started. So, this right here, it says Merry Christmas. I'm sorry it's backwards. You know how that goes. And I'm going to move my light down a little bit so you can see a little bit more bright. Um, but this is what the idea we're going to do. So, this is a rock. I just went out to my driveway, and um, we have all sorts. I think it's like 5 eighths something, whatever. Um, but I went out there and I thought, you know what, what looks like a bird? So, um, and then I raided the, uh, the cherry tree and I took a limb off of my cherry tree and there's some jute right there. And I thought, you know what, let's, let's expand on this, but um, let's use some paint and then we'll kind of go from there. So we're going to go there. And then the second project we're going to do today, because I, I want you to, we're going to do two. Um, we're going, we're going for this. These are dice that I got from the dollar store and I've seen them used multiple ways, but I just want to show you one more way for Christmas that you can use um, these foam dice and dollar store or, um, you know, probably Walmart, something like that. They're like, I said, they're only a buck, buck and a half, something like that. So, um, but first of all, I just kind of wanted to show you what I've been working on because Christmas in July has been one of those. Um, I am just playing around, I know it's backwards, sorry about that, with signs, and I love the idea of this. So I, I'm giving you guys some ideas of what to start um, working on. 
um, I thought, okay, Christmas, Merry Christmas, that's great. But what I did on the other side, and like I said, sorry, it's backwards. This is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Christmas. Dual purpose. Don't have to worry about it. Flip it back and forth and you're good for 45 days at least. <laughs> so um, that's a great idea. And then um, I was thinking some of my, my gifts and things like that, I have some that are starting on Etsy and whatnot. Um, but I wanted to show you what I'm up to for Christmas. This is a tin can. It is a large one that you would get, I think biscuits and gravy were in this one. Um, I had a girlfriend that she gave me some of these. Um, anyway, this right here is flannel. So I took Mod Podge and I, it's only one layer, so I put the flannel on top. And it, this is a copper wire that's in between here. And these are just beads that I um, painted, just um, milk paint. Remember we were talking about the milk paint? Um, I used this, this is milk paint. And I painted the little beads. And then um, I, I, first of all, I, it was like wall hanging, planter, that kind of thing. Um, but one of my girlfriends, I gave one to this last week, she is going to actually put her keys in it at the front door. So I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like a multi-purpose use kind of thing. Um, and then the other one I really loved, this right here, this is a Christmas one of, this is just a Mod Podge napkin and then a poinsettia. And then this is the wire. And then I just took a piece of cork and um, the, you know, just from a, a wine bottle and painted it uh, gold. And then there you go. So my challenge to you, see if you can find a, uh, any size. I mean, we've, I've got, I've got cans all over the place here. I just, I use them all the time for different um, things right here. This is, this holds my little, um, there we go. I had to move my finger there. This holds my, all my little, um, whatever clippers, you know, all anything. So, um, I did make some for my daughter's desk at work. She was like, mom, Hey, can I, I need a pencil holder and I need a, you know, for paper clips and whatnot. And then she was like, Hey, can you make me a coaster? And I'm like, Oh yes, I can make you a coaster. So anyway, all right. So now that we're on, right. Um, I just wanted to say hi and welcome. There's a little live up there. That means I am on live just like it is right now. But if you don't see that little red live there, that means that it's that on the replay. And so I love to find out when and uh, where you're watching from. So go ahead, let me know what your weather is today. Like I said, mine's going to hit up to 85, 90. And um, then go ahead and, and if you are watching on the, the replay, go hashtag replay and just let me know what you're working on. Are you starting Christmas stuff yet? Are you still in the summer? I know a lot of people are doing watermelon and um, red, white, and blue stuff. So yeah, let me know what you guys are up to. I love knowing what the crafting journey is um, on your guys' end as well. So, okay. So today, like I said, this is my inspiration. I got online, said, okay, let's see what I can do. Let's get some rocks going on. So I have a half round. I know it's kind of funny. I, I was on um, Facebook Marketplace and there was a gal in town here and she was like, hey, I'm selling a bunch of these. And I got pieces of wood. I got these rounds and things like that for a bunch of them for like 20 bucks. I'm like, hot dog, okay. So I, I believe this is um, uh, birch or something like that or what, just alder, I can't remember. It's just, it's not like cedar or anything like that, but it's just a nice, um, it's got some good grooving around the outside. And I thought, okay, what am I going to do with these things? Well, here's my rendition and I'm going to just set it right here because it's definitely one of those where I give me a thumbs up and let me know, make sure that you guys can see if it's too dark there, let me know. Cause the, the sun's coming in and out and I'm trying to, you know, I got a few lighting issues going on and I just want to make sure that you guys can see. So, all right, this is what we're going to do. I just took it. This is the rough, what it, what it was when I got it, it was completely just, you know, took a chainsaw and there it is. And there's pieces, you know, it's got little, um, little pieces of, of resin and things like that that you just want to get off. And so all I did was I just took my 3M block 
and you can get these you know a hardware store or whatnot and all I did was just went over the whole top and I'm not going to do it just because of time but I went over the whole block and then make sure you tap it off and that there's a, um, all the dust and things like that get off I did use a piece of um, of paper towel and just wiped it off so that and I probably should do that again since I just put the um, the sanding block on it but I want it just to be free from dust and see it does it just kind of does its own thing you could if you want to totally sand this flat do any type of whatever it's up to you you can decide whatever you would like to do so um, but that is gonna be our base and it's just gonna sit like this so um, then the next thing I did is I'm like okay so I went to my uh, driveway and was like let's see what are we gonna do so I walked around my driveway I know my neighbors probably thought I was crazy but I walked around my driveway and was like okay what looks like a bird you know what could be flat on one side and or you know that kind of thing and I thought well I want to be able to have it flat and so I just took these little rocks and I'm like okay this is this is super cute we can just have a little singing chorus so that is what we're gonna do today we're gonna hang I know let's move back a little bit we're going to just kind of see where this takes us and so I want to do Robin I, I I did some owls just for your sake Renee and <laughs> I'm not very good at that so I would have to get a rub on to be able you know some type of a, a rub on to to do um, the owls because the eyes are so cute and I'm just not detailed enough to do that so I started layering different colors and I was just like yeah okay so we we went on the the, the little robin um, trail so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, paint that we're gonna be using this is um, Apple Barrel I got this at Walmart and it's I believe it's Cardinal yep it's Cardinal Crimson and we're just gonna use that as as our our base I left I mean you could color or paint um, each of the rocks a different color or whatever you want to do I mean you could do little bluebirds yellow green orange whatever it is um, but I just love the natural part of this um, project just to keep the wood or the rock that way so um, I'm just gonna use a little bit of uh, the crimson paint let me get it down here or let's move it over here and you don't need a whole lot for this um, so with that in mind keep that in mind I'm gonna put this over the side here I want to make sure that um, I don't get any paint on my project because we're gonna be using this um, okay let's make sure I do this right we're gonna be using um, and uh, painting on our piece of, of wood today so it's gonna be kind of fun okay so now I get to do this there we go thank you Renee um, I'm going to go ahead I'm just gonna use this little flat one and um, I want to load up my brush because I want this line here to be my guide the edge of the brush and I'm just gonna take it and I'm going to make a half moon and I want like I said I want my brush to be loaded up okay so the second thing I got to do hold on I got to be able to see I put new contacts in today and woof I can't see up close now <laughs> so they must have been very tired okay so that's what we're gonna do I just we're just making his little little uh, belly here and I'm gonna paint all the way down so that you can't you know it's all red and then just kind of go off to the side here because you want to make sure that um, we're gonna do a couple coats so I don't want it too thick but I do want that line do you like that line on the edge see how it's a little lumpy but I want that to be my guide so like I said even with my shaky hands is that this works and 
I am not a big bird watcher or bird knowledge. So I'm just going to kind of do just, just do a little, or you can do whatever you can do a little or, or a lot. Okay. There we go. There's another one. And now this one. Okay. So I'm going to have them looking at each other. So I'm going to just turn it this way. And this one's gonna have a quite cute belly. It's, this is gonna have a big belly. There we go. So he's kinda cool, I like this one. I don't know. This could be the the singing singing couples. I don't know. We'll see. But I love the different textures of the rocks because I think that's going to be unique. And the this is um, uh, acrylic paint. And so um, it will it it covers really well. There we go. I know it looks kind of crazy. I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? But there we go. And I am going to, sorry, it's loud, but my, the heat gun makes the rocks too hot and I don't want them to, to break. So I'm going to turn it up all the way on my hair dryer, but Okay, even the hair dryer is making me warm. Woo! Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit um, almost like opaque kind of thing, and that's what I want. That's why I know it's going to be dry. And so go ahead and just lightly put on another layer. And I'm not going to go over that line that I did at the beginning because it's, I don't need two coats on that. It's pretty, it's pretty well covered. And you know, birds aren't all just one single color. They've got lots of different textures and things like that. So I think that'll be all right. And that's the one thing about this, this project. It's not that you can't mess it up, but it's pretty easy to, to be able to half moon and put a couple dots and things like that. That's what I love about this project. It makes it makes rock painting so much easier and more doable. Cause I, I haven't done rock painting because I am very, um, I'm very, uh, let's see, what do you say? Um, intimidated by it because there's a lot of beautiful different ones. I know um, if you're familiar with the, uh, there's different towns and things like that have rock communities where you go and you paint a rock and then you leave it and then somebody gets to find it. And um, there's one that, that uh, Bellingham rocks and things like that, that you can go on Facebook pages. And I was going on them and some of them are just absolutely beautiful. So I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> but...
doing that, but I just want to make sure that they got a, as best we can dry. Hold on. Today, my coffee cup, Christmas, ho, ho, ho. I'm trying to get in the spirit. Mm. It's so yummy. Today, oh, I have to tell you. Today, I got to make the coffee the way I wanted. And that means that it is Woods Coffee, which is um, over on the west side of Washington. My favorite coffee is the Viking Blend. Love the Viking Blend at Woods. And I got to not use the coffee filter. So just the little wire basket. So by the time I get to the bottom of the coffee, there's gonna be like little bits of yumminess and my family doesn't like it, but I had to just make it for myself today. So I'm like, woohoo, I got it. It's me. I'm gonna make it the way I want it. <laughs> so I hope you get to do that too. Make the coffee the way you want because coffee's the best. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is this is black. Um, I just want to set that off to the side and um, just kind of ready, ready my paint because we're going to do some fun here. Okay, so now that these are pretty well, they're, they're pretty well dry. I've got to put, um, they're going to be sitting on something. So I ran to my cherry tree yesterday, picked out a branch, and we're going to put these little chickadees, birds, um, on the branch and so I, I want to kind of make it look almost 3d so I it's okay it's kind of like sitting off the side there and I'm all right with that um, I will trim it a little bit because I just I don't want it too crazy but um, go ahead and make sure that when you set it down that it will be okay as far as if you want to set it down, I mean, you could hang this on the wall, you could do whatever, it's, it, whatever's good. So now that I have that, I'm going to decide, I want to just trim off the end. Actually, I think I want to go this way. Cause I really like, I really like this end here. So I'm going to scoot back a little bit more. I know today's one of those camera days. I, I, um, I have I put new curtains in different things and and all my lighting's a little bit different today so excuse these oh there it goes we'll, we'll pick that up in a few minutes otherwise my my dog and my cat will play with it or eat it okay so there's a couple spots where it's gonna sit on this um, trip the the piece of wood so to be able to get that to stay down and stay forever um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use two different products. This is E6000 and this is something that you I, I use all the time. I love that I found this tip that's pretty um, thin. There's one that has just the round um, tip, but this one here has got almost like a little funnel. So it, it works really, really well. So I'm going to do that in a little, two little spots here because I want it to stay um forever so i'm going to put those there and then i'm going to take my hot glue gun which will do the temporary quick quick stick literally and i want to put a little bit just like that so i don't sometimes i do sometimes i don't put the e6000 on the um the the glue gun glue uh, just depends. I've seen it both ways where you can take the E6000 and then put um, hot glue on it. But uh, this one here, I'm just going to put it off to the to the sides here. So I want to make sure, and I'm just going to tap it a little bit and let that E6000 kind of drip down a little bit. I want to make sure that it sticks. So there we go. Okay, there's our there's our our foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of do the same part, um, same thing. I'm gonna take my little birds here, and I'm gonna put them where I want. And I'm doing this upside down, so it's one of those. I think just like that. We're gonna, they're gonna kind of be singing at each other. I think they're gonna just be talking or chattering or whatever. We'll just be doing that. Okay, so that's where I want my birds to be. And so I'm gonna do the exact same thing. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of E6000, so that's gonna make it stay forever. It was really hard to decide. I wasn't sure how to get these on because if you have just a glue gun, I can just see it sitting in a box from year to year and, and just popping, popping out. So I didn't want to do that. We don't want to have the, the, um, the birds loose in a box. So I'm just going to do a little bit of each on there. There we go. And like I said, the hot glue is gonna make it just stay right away, and then the E6000 is going to make it stay forever. Kind of thing. And the E6000, it can go rocks, glue, metal, all sorts of. It, and just keep in mind, it does expand, so you don't want it to be too overflowing and generous because you wanna make sure that it um, it doesn't goo out everywhere. I don't even know how to say that right, but um, you just want to make sure that your glue doesn't go out the sides of the rocks. So I don't want to put be too, too generous on it. Okay, so let's get the hot glue and that just makes it stay for right now. Okay. Now I'm going to let that sit for a minute because I just don't want it to fall over. Let me get my handy, trusty baby wipes. I did get some glue on my fingers. And the Gorilla, the, not Gorilla, but the, um, the E6000, you don't want to leave that on your skin. I make sure that if I have any of that on my skin, I get it off as soon as I can. And just to FYI, it is a little bit like almost like honey where if you touch something or move something around it totally like sticks and things like that so just be careful um, with where it goes you just want to make sure that your project you don't you clean your hands and make sure that you um, don't get it anywhere else and that that's um, one of those where you'll just have to just keep that in mind okay so I'm just taking off some of the Let's just do this. This is the, my easy way to get off the strings from the glue gun. Okay. So anytime you have a project and you've got those strings from your glue gun and it looks like spider webs, just shoot it with the, um, the hair dryer and it does um, take that, all those little strings away. Okay, so this is what I have. And you see, I left a little bit of space in there and we'll take care of that. I, I did that for a reason, but let's make these little chickadees come to life. So the next thing I'm gonna use, and I was like, okay, I'm, I, this right here is a little tiny, tiny little round dot on the top. So I thought, perfect, I don't have to <laughs> for eyes. So I want my eyes, I was looking at my other project, but I'm gonna load it up, make sure there's a bit on there. And all I'm gonna do is use this as a dot for their eyes. And I know this one I'm gonna have to do a little bit bigger because there's a, brown, or a black dot right there. So I wanna make sure that that's prominent. Okay, let's see, where do I want this one to have its eye? There we go. And this one here, uh, right about there. And so let me show you. That little tool is amazing. I love it. It just does the perfect little dot for you. You don't have to worry about it. So, okay, I want to make sure at each step that this dries. So. that I wanted to use. 
And this one here is really cool. This even has a little cover for it, but this is just almost like, you know, you'd use like a, a eye, eyeliner or something like that. So I'm gonna load this up and I'm gonna give them beaks in the black here. And I'm just gonna make a little, a little triangle right where I think that, that I want him to sing. And I can do that. The, the, this brush gives it a perfect little line here. And because the wood is a little bit bumpy, go ahead and you can do little, little dots to make sure that where it goes. But that's all the, that I'm like, woohoo, that's awesome. I'm okay, I could do a triangle. But not very good at doing all this shading and all that kind of stuff. So I'm like, all right, I can do this. So there we go. Isn't that so cool? I was like, that is the ingenious idea of putting it on the, uh, the piece of wood. Kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. And like I said, makes my shakiness easier to... There we go. All right, so they're singing it that way. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Sorry about having it backward, but I gotta make sure that it goes right underneath my bird. All right. Let's make it this way. Okay, I'm just laying, I'm just taking the brush and just laying it down on the piece of wood and that just gives me a super nice straight line. That's one thing I'm glad about these brushes. They, they do the work for you. I love them. Thank you, thank you. For me, less is best of, of butzing around and things like that, but there's our little birds. Okay, let's get that dry. I want to make sure that I don't make a mess. So I am going to take some jute and I'm just going to wrap it around my finger a bunch of times. And then I'm going to do a lot because we're, we're doing, this is going to be a, a big, long, long nest. We're going to take, let me see, where's my scissors? We're going to take my scissors and I got to do it on my right hand. Here we go. There we go. And I'm just going to make some little strands that I can put on here to make a nest. And just want to make sure I've got a bunch. There we go. Okay. So now here it goes. We want to make sure that each these guys have a fun little nest to hang out in. So I'm just going to put some glue, hot glue, just right in the middle here. Got a few extras of these because I knew I would need a few. And you can be as generous. I've seen where you could take um, the mossy things like that. Um, you could take the, the little moss that you would put uh, in florals and that you could use all anything you would like. But I just wanted to make a big nest. This one needs to be cut. And so be a little bit outdoorsy. 
and we'll start moving. I'm going to be a little bit more now intentional and I'm going to move some of these pieces so that they encapsulate the, the bird so it looks like a nest. Let's put that up there. I'm actually going to put a couple pieces on the bird so that it looks like they're sitting in the nest. But you can decide what you want to do. If there's all ways that you could make this look what you want. You could just even have them sitting on the branch. But I thought, you know what, I'm I'm gonna have them singing in the nest. I think that's gonna be fun. And deciding you could also do all different types of, of jute. I just I just had this on hand really quick. And like you said, you could spend a bunch of time just moving things around. And like this here, I want it to look a little bit more like a nest. We'll do that. because I, I could play with this for, for a while, but for time's sake, I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what, what would be fun to use. I'm gonna take some of these and I'm gonna put them back on itself and then it'll make it just like a little uh, rim of a basket here or a net. my uh, my finger thing on here so that it doesn't stick to my fingers and then I have it all over my finger there we go there it goes okay I could keep going but let's for time's sake Let's just do a few of them. But like I said, you could decide what you want to do. Okay. Now I'm gonna and I'm going to make sure that that the um, spider webs from the hot glue is gone. So that my project doesn't look too crafty, but crafty enough. Okay. So there you go. Isn't that fun? And I'm going to like, I will go back later. You know how that is. I always futz around with my projects afterwards. But I will go back and put in some little pieces of either leaves or some type of moss or something like that just so that it makes it full and all that kind of stuff. So, okay, there we go. Now finishing touches. Um, I think this would be really fun to use even in the fall. You could do whatever. You could put little pieces of, of um, stuffing and uh, like pillow stuffing and put little snow so they're sitting in the snow. Um, anything like that, fall leaves. Um, it, this would be really cute with little hearts on the top and, and what, whatever. I think it's a, a project that you could use anything, any season. So, but I'm gonna do, because it's, it's Christmas, I am gonna do Happy Holidays. That's what I had. And these are little, um, almost like resin pieces. And I thought, you know what? This is gonna look super cute just a little sentiment just like that isn't that so cool so it says happy holidays and then i thought you know what i would love just to kind of put a few little these are the same they're just little resin um, snowflakes 
and make it sparkly. And I'm just going to kind of just let them anywhere, everywhere. That down a little bit. And then these here, I got these and I love these. These are little buttons, but I don't, you know, it's got that little piece on it. And I don't want that to be sticking up out of my project. So I have these, these right here are their button um, hole. It, you just cut the backs off of them. And I'm not really sure what it's called, but you can go to Joann's and it just pops off that, that button in the back, that loop, so that it makes it flat. So I'm gonna put a few of these over here and just dress it up. I always have to have a little sparkle here and there so these are really fun I mean if you can go and thrift and find um, buttons and things like that and right now they're kind of spendy but um, it's a it's a really fun way to be able to use your your um, uh, your buttons and different product projects and things like that so I think I'll put that one down there little bit closer there we go and then I have this red one I think it's so cute mm, you know what I think it's a little bit much what do you guys think should I end up putting this on I'm not really sure I think it's distracting so we're gonna we'll leave that red one off but how fun is that just a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of painting, not too in depth. So it's, you know, uh, us artists are still able to create. And there you have it. Now, I would, um, you know, I you could do this a couple different ways. You could actually take on the back and put a bow and then hang it from the bow. You could do just a regular, um, uh, picture frame hook or anything like that you could just leave it I think I might just leave it like this and put it on my uh, my um, by my TV my mantle this way so how fun is that I thought okay all right so that's that's my rock painting and that's about as good as it's gonna get so anyway all right now the second project oh and then there was one I had to show you so um, we'll put this right here but um, I also found a rock and I only could find one. I, I searched and searched, but this right here is just a rock. And all I did is I have a little, um, we're, we're gonna use them in a few minutes. These are rub-ons and they are in faces of, I have Santa, I have snowman and everything like that. And I found this rock and I'm like, perfect. He's gonna be melting. So I just took a little pen and um, my daughter Abby came home last night. She's like, Mom, you got to put the, the coal on him for the, the little buttons there. And um, that took me only a few seconds. All I did was paint it with um, chalk paint, a couple uh, layers, or not the chalk, the acrylic paint, a couple layers, let it dry. And how simple and fun is that to be able to hang on your, your Christmas tree? So that's to say, that's another one. So, um, let me see what you're up to in, in uh, making uh, ornaments and whatnot. I think it's a super uh, fun way just to get ideas. I go on Pinterest all the time, you know, that half, you know, my motto is I believe in stealing ideas. <laughs> so um, that's what it's all about, I think. It's just a little bit of, of your rendition of someone else's idea. I think that's fun. Um, okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, I want, let me clean up here, I've got some, some things that are sitting around. I don't want to get on my white project here, but we're going to be using these. And I've seen these in like, um, you know, you could do fall, you could do love, you know, the word fall, you could do love, you could do home. I've seen them. And then the O is like a little wreath. So these are all, I mean, you know, couple for a buck. So I just wanted to show you what, what I did to be able to, um, you know, cause there's ones that are green and there's yellow. I mean, this one here, I'm like, okay, let's pick the loudest color. Cause I wanted to make sure that I could color, um, you know, show you guys how, how to, uh, you know, color this and make sure that it's not showing through. Um, and what I did is, uh, let me move this. Oops, sorry. 
I'm, I'm trying to get my paint out of the way. Here we go. So what I did is I have two different products that I used. And the first one is, I got this at Michael's. This is a primer. So, um, and this is by Art, yeah, Art Minds. And when you open it up, it's like a gel. It is like, it's, it's cool. It sticks to wood. Um, I've used it on my tin cans when I want um, to make sure that uh, everything is covered up. This is a really good product. Um, and then I also got a coordinating color. This is um, kind of like a chalk, um, almost like an off-white, and I use this quite a bit. This combination is, is really good. Now, the paint is not paste or gel-like. It's, it's actually um, a really nice paint. So um, make sure that, that when, you're, when you're getting different things that, that your base coat is, is adequate um, for your, your um, project. And then today I'm gonna cover, this is Waverly and it's white. And so um, I'm gonna cover that and um, it's a chalk paint, so it will be a little bit um, matte finish. But what I wanted to show you is, okay, so I've been using lots of paint brushes today, but today, or um, earlier, but this time I'm gonna use, these are little daubers and they're just made of foam. And what I love about this is it's gonna give us that texture that we're looking for as a snowman. So like I said, see how it is just, see if I can show you. See how it's just like a gel and I do kind of swirl it around and make sure that I get enough on my brush. But I'm just gonna do the sides and then a little bit of the rim of the top because I wanna make sure that um, when I'm gonna be gluing these together, because we're gonna make a little snowman, um, that you want to make sure that what your project is is gluing together. Um, you don't want paint in between, a ton of paint, so that um, the paint lifts from your project. If that makes any sense, let me know. Um, I don't want a bunch of paint on paint and then glue in between it, and then that makes it so that um, it will uh, not adhere together. So this is all I'm doing, and look at how the coverage is on it. I'm gonna twist it a little bit just to make sure I get enough of the paint that's on the sides. But see how that covers it? It does a really good job. I love this primer. And I've used it on candlesticks. I've used it on wood projects. And I just wanna make sure um, that this orange will not show through. I don't really wanna suntan a suntanned uh, snowman. So that's that's pretty it. And the the cool thing about I mean I could paint this with a paintbrush, but I really like the dauber here to be able to get that texture of snow. So and I'm going to leave the 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 bottom there. I'm just going to go a little bit around the edge so that you can see. You don't you don't want to see the the orange in between the blocks. And then go ahead and just go around and make sure that each of the sides are well covered. I know I feel like I'm putting on makeup today. <laughs> okay, so there's one, just like that. And then I'm gonna do the hair dryer because I want it to dry fast. Waverly and this is white 
just white chalk paint and I'm just going to put it in the top of my let's just flip it upside down I'm going to put a little bit in the top of my lid there so that's about all you need so same thing I'm going to actually do double dipping I'm going to take my my uh over here and it's okay to double dip in this one and it goes really well So let me know if you've done this before. Tell me if you've done the blocks in a different style, not necessarily being a snowman, but have you done it in any any other way, whether it's Valentine's or your name or what? Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do with these blocks. I think uh, once they, the videos of uh, tutorials came out, everybody ran to the store and bought them up because there was for a while I didn't I didn't see them in there and I was looking and I didn't see any blocks at the store so it was one of those where in my town where I'm at I call it a town because it's um, not huge huge but um, when it's there at the store you buy it because if you go back it's gone it's one of those I I make sure that if I want something um, especially like a season or like Christmas or whatever the season is that unfortunately you can't always wait for the sales because they'll be gone they'll totally be gone so all right so I just dab the the chalk paint on it here and um, I always make sure that I have clean hands when I'm ready to put some stuff together so um, I know I always walk out of my house and, and so my girlfriends are like oh what you're working on yeah I know <laughs> I always got something on my fingers so let's just get the main main part going okay so I did a ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that that I would have enough time but I went ahead and I did um, two of these as well. So I've seen it them where they're just two, and then I've also seen it where it's three. But for my project, I really like the idea of two because um, just being able to have a little short thing to either put on your kitchen um, table or whatever, I just wanted to make sure that, um, yeah, he wasn't too, too tall. So this is what we're going for. This is our little little guy and what I want to do with this is I several ways that you can do this if you want to you could do a little black hat um, I'm I'm today I'm gonna do a stocking and I wanted to show you really quick because I, I love being able to use um, just scraps and things like that that I have from other projects so today I was going to show you um, pretty much using the scraps and things like that that I have so I'm gonna first of all I want him to him or yeah I want him to be able to stay forever and I have this heat gun on low temperature because I don't want the foam it's bubbling a little bit but I do not want um, the foam to get too hot and again just like we used with the birds I'm going to put a little bit of e6000 it might be an overkill I know I'm kind of one of those I don't want my projects to fall apart and I want to make sure what which one I want to go for the face here so I'm just gonna go like that it's okay if you see a little bit of the um, the inside there because we are going to we're gonna remedy that okay so 
there is my project. I'm going to just squish it down a little bit. Make We just want to make sure that it stays because we're going to be um, messing around with a little bit and I don't want it to, you know, I don't want it to fall off. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do, we'll lay it down flat, and this is going to be the head, is I want to put a face on him. And like I said, I, I'm one of those. I'm, I'm one of those. I, I'd rather... Um, I'd rather see if I can and not do it my own. I'm not artsy, but this right here is uh, rub on transfers. And this one here is, I, it's kind of a little bit older. Um, I was going to look at, it's called Laura's crafts. I got it. Um, actually you can see the price there. I got it at a thrift store. And so go ahead and online, you can, I'm sure, you know, like Amazon or something like that. Rub on transfers are very, I've found that they're harder to find in the store. Good morning, Cindy. Um, so I either go online or whatever, but there is several different little happy faces. I, you know, super cute. Um, they even have for you little uh, noses if you want to be, you know, adventurous and make your own face. But, um, and just kind of look, these are small for the, um, the block. So I'm actually gonna move them around a little bit. So all you need to do is just take a little, um, popsicle stick and I am going to put first of all I'm going to put down the smile so I love that you can see through them so we're going to put I, I'm going to be putting a uh, scarf on him so I want to make sure that um, I have ample room okay so there's the smile he's cute so I'm going to put the nose where I want the nose to go. And that's the cool thing about these rub-ons. You can just take pieces and parts, move, move them around wherever you would like. Okay, there's his nose. And then, do I want those eyes? I don't think I want those eyes. These are kind of, they're, they're cute, but I really like the ones that you can actually see a little bit bigger. I'm gonna put those ones up there. So that's the cool thing. I'm gonna, we're gonna decide. Let's see, I want the smaller ones, I think, because we're gonna put a hat on him as well. So he's gonna have a rather large nose, but smaller eyes. There you go. And all you do is just rub right where you want the transfer to come off. So isn't he cute? Love it. Okay, so, and this is pretty well stuck. It's good, so let me move this off to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna put him together. Um, I chose kind of the, just flannel, um, and this one here, I just had in my craft, I, I bought like six different of these little 18 by 18 squares, and so um, what I did is, I just cut a rectangle and it's just going to go around. I'm just going to right up at the eyes. I'm just going to put it around just so it goes to the top here. Let me do, let me do it before we get this mess going on. Let's just do it. And all I'm going to do is use the um, glue gun here. Go ahead and just put it right on the top. He's going to look a little bit funny, but I'll, I kid you not, it, this is going to work. I will show you what we're going to add to make it, make it look right. But just go ahead and just put it around. It doesn't even have to be super straight. I'm going to put each of the sides. I'm not going to put glue around the whole thing because we usually don't have our hats completely squished to the top of our head. But we will go ahead and just put a little bit of glue and then go ahead and overlap it there we go all right kind of looks funny but that's how it goes all right then 
then you could, now this is, you could do it whatever you want. You could just put a little bit of a, a bow. I thought, you know what, this is super long. We don't want this, you know, well, I guess if you wanted that tall, but I don't want that tall. So, um, and I did cut it a little bit long just for kicks and grins because I wanted to make sure that um, I had enough, not knowing where I was gonna put the, the rim of the, the hat. So I, I think about there. So we're gonna put that. And then what I did is I just took a piece of the fabric and I just cut out a strip of um, the fabric and you could do whatever you want. You could put a little puff ball on the top, whatever you would like to do. This is kind of your, you get to decide where you want to do that. And then I'm just going to knot it. I don't want to bow because I think the, the knot is just going to look the way I would like it. And then I'm going to cut it off where I want. Okay, and here, here's his little hat. You could do this, whatever. Okay, so he's cute just like that, but you know what? It's always me. I have to add a little bit. So I'm gonna take, this is just um, fur, and it's wide, and I don't want it, I, I mean, you could do it that big. Maybe I do like it that way. Um, but what, when I got this originally, it was actually this wide and I didn't want that. So I want to show you too, I just cut a piece off. Um, when you're putting a fur like this, see how the, the little uh, spritzies of the, the fabric just kind of fall out to the side and then this one goes that way. I actually am gonna put them on top of each other and it just hides it. So if you have a shortened piece and you need, need to be able to um, put that in, that is the how to do it without making it look too crazy. I mean, he could even have hair. I don't know. Um, who knows? It's your craft, craft project, right? But I'm just going to take a little bit of glue. I'll put it around the side. And then... I'm going to take this end because this is the fluffy end that's sticking out. We're going to take the one that's moving the same, the same direction. And I want to put that in there so that it lines up okay. Just make sure that you don't get the, um, the long part of the fur in your glue. There we go. And I'm just laying it right over the top. There we go. Oh, he's so cute. All right. We're going to trim it. And I just, when I trim um, this stuff, I just put my scissors in the top here and I roll it where I want it to go so that I don't cut off all that little um, fringe there. See how it's now, it's um, gonna just blend in. It's just gonna blend in. And that's just my, um, my idea of how to make sure that you don't have the, um, the quote cut marks. And then you can just blend in pieces. Now I could putz around and he could be really fluffy or not. You can decide. Here we go. Isn't that fun? So, okay, now for the, the, the last thing on here, I'm gonna put a couple buttons on it. And like I said, these are super cute buttons, but they have the back on them. Oop, I just dropped it. There we go. And so we're gonna make sure that this is gonna lay flat. So I'm gonna again take, this is my uh, button cutter for the backs. And I'm just gonna pop it and it just takes off that little backing so that you can lay it flat, just like that. 
Let's see. And I'm going to do that to both of them. Move that around. Let's see where to go. Yep. It's always under something. When you when you lose something on your crafting desk, it's always under something. <laughs> I know. So fun. I love him. He's stinking cute, huh? I might have to make a family, it looks like. There we go. Okay, and then this right here, I would just use hot glue because um, you, the E6000 is, that's I think a little bit too, too much. And you can put the buttons the way you would like. I would, the perfectionist in me, I guess, non-perfectionist would say, oh no, big deal. But I know some people are like, they need to be going the same way. But there you go. Isn't he the cutest? That is how you make the dice. And like I said, you can, um, you can use any type of color. I would, you know, I've seen them painted all different ways. Um, but make sure that you do use the uh, primer. And that will make sure that it coats it and make sure that you won't see the colors. And then a good, good chalk paint. Waverly is what I use um, to be able to, to cover up that. And the last but not least, we need to make sure that he stays warm. And I'm just going to take a piece of my fabric here. And I, I want it to go a little bit longer. So I think I'm going to use the uh, long side of this. And I don't want it too fluffy. So I'm just going to cut it about an inch and a half. You could, if you want to, use rickrack scissors and make it, um, you know, a little bit the, the zigzag. I'm going to trim this off. I won't use all of this, but I just want to make sure I'm going to fold it so that you don't see. Yeah. See, isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. I can't wait to use him for Christmas unless I decide to, to give him away. <laughs> and that's me. Half the time I'm like, oh, I'm going to keep it. And then I end up going, oh, well, this person needs this. Okay. So I'm just going to tie it. Just a simple knot. And I'm going to take the fabric and turn it so that it goes over the top. There we go. And then I'm going to secure it with a little bit of glue so that it stays exactly where I want it to go. There we go. Okay, so there it is. Now I'm going to do a little bit of trimming here. And I want it to look a little bit like little frayed edges. So I'm just going to snip little, little pieces in it and then I'll rough it up. There we go. And then this one here, I think I will just make it go down to the edge. it up a little bit oh okay we will make this on the the week yes so in a little bit we are going to be celebrating my mom is turning 80 she is the most beautiful thing on earth at 80 her soul is so sweet and she has the most beautiful smile I just she's one of those wonderful you know I I hope and I wish when I get old that I get sweet and joyous not cranky and, and um, grumpy. So my mom is the sweet and joyous person. So we are going to be celebrating her birthday and uh, my sister is saying, hey, we need to make these. And so yes, we can. I have a few projects that we're going to be doing. So, all right. So this is where we're at. We took two of the blocks here. This is what it started out. This is how we painted it. 
paint it so that it has a little bit of a texture on it. Just took a little piece of fabric. Um, if you wanted to, you could cut little little um, slits in that and be able to make it just like the, the um, scarf here. And like I said, I am not the hugest of, of um, artistry, so I have the little rub on that I used. A couple buttons and this is, I, I can't wait to use this. This is gonna be super fun. So if you have any questions about what I did today, either the snowman or the little rock singing bird um, project, Feel free to ask all the questions you need. If you, um, anything as far as uh, supplies and whatnot, what I did, how I found them. Um, here, I'll put there so you can see it. We're good. We actually, these might even go together. We could do that. Um, feel free to ask. Um, I do go back and make sure that you can see um, um, if I have anything that, um, either links or whatnot. So I'll put those in the comments to be able to do that. Uh, but thank you so much for watching today. So if you like this and you want to make sure that you can see more of it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, um, share if you'd like to. I do have a YouTube channel that is Jane Nicole Designs. And some of these things right here, you see in the back here, they're in my Etsy store, Jane Nicole Designs. You're welcome to take a little browse, get a cup of coffee and, and see what I'm up to. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Oh, Amy, it's so good to see you. Take care, you guys. Have a good day.